find the inverse of y is equal to 2 times x plus 1 all raised to the fifth power. And so first off, to find the inverse, what we're going to do is, because remember, an inverse means we switch x and y. And so every time we see y, we're going to replace it with x. Every time we see x, we're going to replace it with y. And so now to find the inverse function, we're going to solve for y. So this is kind of a little bit interesting because we have a fifth power. And so we're going to be taking the fifth root in this. So here, first off, anyways, we divide both sides by two. So you, on the left, I have one half x, or you can write this as x over two, either they're both equivalent. I have y plus one to the fifth. So to uh, kind of undo the fifth power, I'm going to take the fifth root of both sides of the equation. Notice I have the fifth root of one half x on the left. And again, it kind of cancels out the fifth power. So I have y plus one on the right. I isolate y by subtracting one from both sides. And so I end up with y is equal to the fifth root of one half x minus one. And so that is our inverse function of our original equation. Graphically, this is what it looks like. You can see we have our original here, which is a fifth degree polynomial uh, in red. And then in blue, we have our inverse and in green we have are the line y equals x, because we know inverses are reflections of each other on the line y equals x, and check this out. The blue line, again, is the, is the fifth root equation. That's our inverse. The red is our original. That's our polynomial. And you can see how the reflections across the line y equals x are kind of, it's kind of an interesting property, because I mean these look like complicated equations, but yet we just do a little bit of algebra, and we can reflect them across a line and make it completely different.